Good morning. It's Pastor Mark McDonald with First United Methodist Church of Batesville, Arkansas again. Here we are in week three, day five of experiencing God, knowing and doing the will of God. I hope that every day you're spending some time practicing this memory verse that we have every week. I, I encourage you to do it not only as you begin your lesson and you end your lesson, but also throughout the day. Uh, find a way to write this down, carry it with you, put it up on your mirror, whatever, whatever works to help you practice your memory verse. This week, uh, this one really comes to light today. Today is, is a, a, a real life question. In ministry, I've had lots of people tell me, I hear what you're saying, preacher, but that's just not practical today. That doesn't work in today's world. The world isn't like that. And there are there have to be times when you're getting real with your faith and your walk with God, and you're getting close to God and listening to God like we're trying to do this week, that you have to ask the question, is this going to work in this world today? Our world seems so upside down sometimes that the teachings of Christ don't seem like they would work. But how many of us could look at Jesus in the face and say, are you for real? You think this will work? Of course Jesus thinks it will work. Of course God has a plan that will work no matter what goes on in the world today. This is practical. Remember that so much of experiencing God is developing a real and personal relationship with God through Christ. On Wednesday, I talked about how personal this gets when we walk and talk with God every day. But the real part is what today's lesson is about. It's about being practical with our faith, realizing that God is our provider. One of my favorite sayings, I don't even know where I picked it up, but one of my favorite sayings is that God gives us everything we need to do what God wants us to do. God initiates, like we talked about yesterday. God provides with us what we need, and it is practical. That doesn't mean it's safe or easy or it's going to be a cakewalk. Sometimes being faithful is very hard because it's not easy to live a life of faith in the world when the world seems to be going the other direction and we're drawn into the negativity and the blame and the, the anger and the resentment that seems to be so pervasive in the language of today. Today's lesson is about how we break through that. And it, and it really is a challenge to make God part of every bit of our lives, not just to compartmentalize God to Sunday or Wednesday or to uh, the time that we have in devotionals in the morning, but to ask God to be part of every single aspect of our lives. And our memory verse this week is all about that. In the book of Mark, our memory verse has one more word to it. I've always, I've come to learn the, the Mark one. Matthew and Mark heard it just slightly different, but it is to love, God, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And I've always thought about how that just brings this holistic picture. But in Matthew, the verse that we have, heart, soul, and mind, is, is fine. It tells us not just to love God with our heart, not just to love, that is, our emotions, not just to love God with our mind, that is, just not to think about God and say the right things, but to love God with our soul, to our very being, as well as those other parts. And in Mark, when he says strength, it has everything that we have in our being gets put toward God. The word that I would challenge us to listen for in today's lesson is being authentic, letting God be part of every aspect of your life. If you think of what it is to have integrity, integrity is a word that's not in the Bible, but it is a word that has as its root integer, that is a whole number. The Bible is calling us to be people of integrity, to have God in our whole life lives, not to compartmentalize our life and say, well, this isn't church. I have to do it a little differently. Or, you know, oh, that's just church. We act differently over there. But the challenge today is to make this practical, to make it part of every aspect of our lives. So I hope as you read this lesson today, as we tie up this week, that you'll go back through today, tomorrow, and read through the summaries, practice that memory verse, and think of the power that this verse has to us that the greatest commandment is to love God with our heart, soul, mind, and strength. That's the greatest commandment, to bring God into every part of our lives. So today, hear the challenge, not just to make this a personal relationship with God through Christ, but to make it real, practical, and authentic. Have a blessed day, and be a blessing.